Welcome to Wayne's Word Blog. Today I will be covering Budget Cuts VR because I recently played this game and I got to a level I could not beat. And as I do, I Google things or YouTube them to figure out how to get past a part I can't get past. And no one, not on Steam, not on YouTube, not on Google, no one had the proper explanation for how to get past Adam in HR. And it's like the next to last level. So I compiled what information I could along with common sense and then kind of exploring through the level itself. And I think I've got it figured out. This game has been out for over a year and no one has posted a video or an explanation of how to properly beat the level other than just running madly and getting the key, etc. Something else I found out is if you find little trinkets around the offices, when you pick them up, they show up in your trophy case, I guess we can call that. And in the main menu, which we're in, if you type level select, all lowercase, all one word, and then hit enter on your keyboard, you can go back to any level you've beat already and try it again. So we are going to go to Human Resources to try and explain how to properly defeat Adam. Because I saw a lot of comments for, oh, this game took a turn for the worse at the end and became a horror movie, or it, it, the, it's like a totally different game in this level or it scared the shit out of me, etc. And nobody really, other than running around and trying to avoid Adam at all costs. So when you're trying to defeat Adam, you'll notice you go into HR. And through HR, we end up in the broadcasting department. Now, you notice the key doesn't work. As with the rest of this game, this is hinting at what needs to be done to get you through the next level. It's basically teaching you the rules you're going to need to defeat it. Now see, it's on error from the start, and you, the door is inoperable. You can already hear Adam. So it's telling us that on error, the door will be completely inoperable. So. I can't open it or close it, he can't open it or close it, etc. This is the way you lock them in the room. You don't cut the power to the actual box, you just get it to error out. And then it tells you here that 10C is unlocked and open, 11D is unlocked and closed, 12E is locked and open, 13F locked and closed. So you want to error it out on locked and closed once he's in the room. Which room? I'll show you in a minute. But you need to also know how to unlock and open 10C. So well, this switch here, top right, is what converts it from error to unerror. 10C will unlock and open the door. And then once you get to 13F, you can hit this switch here and it'll put it to error. That means it's locked and closed and it can't be unlocked by you or Adam. That's the condition you're going to want it in. Now, another thing people don't notice is when you get up here, you always want to look around. Everywhere you go, you want to look around and you'll see that there's some kind of grate over there that you'll need a screwdriver for. How do we get into that hole in the ceiling? And that hole in that ceiling is right over here. All right. Now, see, we can't get in or out of the door. So we need to set it to 13F because we have a key card. Now that we're inside, check everything here's our next way through I have to squat down now if you have a screwdriver this is what allows you to turn on power to the level after Adam 
spoiler alert if you're trying to figure out how to get into the ceiling in rex's office it's because you came up through here and went straight over there and dealt with adam and then came back through here and you didn't unscrew this and go through there all right so that's just a little tidbit so now we're over here in the dark where adam lives and you'll notice none of the lights work all right so we're gonna go right here i always in a maze or puzzle type game i pick right or i pick left and i stick with it so i always go to the right and now you're in these crawl spaces this is how you keep away from adam these holes he can reach through i'm sure if you've seen the videos you'll see that he reaches through there and tries to grab you now you see here there is a light switch Adam hasn't been alerted yet, so turning the lights on doesn't do anything yet. But then you see here, too, it's the same as our note earlier. All right. Open and unlocked. And then it tells you what each of those switches does in the bottom. If you're into that sort of thing, you can figure that out later. You're going to need that. You can also bring this along if you want. Now obviously just like the showing you how the door was broken over there and then the lights being able to be turned on and off there's all a clue to this and here is where a lot of people have noticed that you come over here and whenever adam has been alerted he'll come to this room and turn the lights back off and then run back out all right so where is the number three key card well you can go in here through the bathroom staying safe in the crawl space and get the key card from here another light switch that just leads over into broadcasting you do not want to alert Adam yet all right now here is why I say that no one on Steam or on any videos has actually figured out the proper way to do this because obviously if he's going to run to this room to shut off the lights then that's the whole point is you've got to somehow lock him in here you see what I'm saying but when you lock that even when you lock it like that he can still access this door and turn that off but here's a hole in the ceiling. So we go up here and we find there's another box right above and it only controls the door below it to this room. So we can turn it off, but now he can't get in. If we leave it like that, he can get in with his key card and then we need to make sure that it shuts and locks before it's on error. So you have to switch it to 11D back to a 13F and then error. That'll close it and lock it. To verify that you've closed it and locked it, you can jump over here and then look to see that it's closed and locked. And he'll come in and kick this ball and it'll make it disappear. Do not hit the grip button. Hit trigger and you go back into the ceiling. He'll come in here and turn the lights off. You jump over here. You hit the switch to make it close and lock. And then you hit the switch to make it error. Now, here is where I see why no one has ever figured out. You have to error the door out and lock him in this room so that you can go into the broadcast room and get the key without having to rush and scream and run and lose your mind. The only way to do that, though, is to jump down here and then run out. And everybody obviously doesn't do that because then you're locked in here with him. He kills you. But here's something I noticed that I didn't even notice until later. Everyone sees this grate here and just thinks there's nothing there. What is this? What? What? You have to check every single room. Look at where we are. Right outside of production department office supplies right up in the ceiling so you have two options here you can get him trapped in here first by getting him to chase you in here 
and then jump through the ceiling and error it out and then go out that way around the corner or you can turn the lights on and here's why I say that. So what I noticed about the lights is if he can't get in this room because you've aired it out, he's gonna run around and try and turn off every single light in the building one by one with their individual light switches. That gives you more time to jump through the back way here, through office supplies. Go through the ceiling and then you're in the ceiling of the light room and he can't get to you. So while he's running around turning out individual lights, you pop through the ceiling, open the door, let him in the room to turn off the main switch, lock him in the room. You come back out this way, you go into productions and get the key, easy peasy. All of this other stuff is unnecessary. All these other tunnels, you really don't need any of that stuff. If you use the locking him in the room method with the lights, just stuff I noticed that he would go and turn off individual lights if he couldn't get in the room. And then finding that back door out was obviously the key. Now that I have the lights on and everything is set up, we can get his attention and then rush through here and jump in the ceiling. He's gonna try and get all these different areas. See, now he's there and we are in the rafters. So he's gonna go around and try and shut off each individual light. We're gonna drop through here. He's doing individual lights now. Here we are with this. Now, sounds like he's turned the lights off. That's fine. All right, he sees us. Get him to come over here. Now we're over here. Doors closed and locked. You can jump down here, turn the light on. He doesn't like that. Now we'll let him in. Okay, now he's opened. We're gonna jump over here. Error. Now he's trapped. All right. He obviously can't do anything. We can now go around this corner. head on over to productions which he's conveniently left open for us take your screwdriver and there you go He's trapped, you can leave, make sure you have a screwdriver. Head back to the entrance. He is sufficiently trapped, so you really don't have to worry about him. Hey, okay. and then over here. Back through the ceiling and 
back here before you head to Rex's office with the key so that now the bookshelf will work down there. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that makes it a little easier on you. I struggled with it for a bit, but it's pretty easy when you follow the clues. They kind of show you as you're entering the level what you're going to be dealing with. Never did get into there. That bothers me. I don't have a two card. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any further questions, comments, or concerns, post them below. Love to hear them. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.